And the green flag is out in the air. Matthew Wood leading the field to green with uh, with Benjamin Romano on the outside. Side by side going into turn one now. As you can see these guys duking it out. The 71, excuse me, the 24 of uh, Romano now comes into second place as Brian Underwood into third. Jordan Hand into fourth to the 29 and the 25. Going at it now, going in through turns three and four. And it looks like William Connolly's going to hold on to that top five position. But off at turn two, it looks like Tyler Bellinger's... Oh, oh, we got a wreck in the back. That's Henry Dudley. Big contact with the inside wall. No caution just yet. The eight, uh, 18, excuse me, now going to pull on down to the apron and try to get down to pit he road. Here. As he's running maybe the lane two there through three and four. As he's front three, you're building all oh! the gaps. Romano in and Underwood. Everybody. Yeah, a big wall. Big, everybody's grabbing wall here out the front. Everybody and their grandma hitting the wall off of turn, off of turn four. four. Jordan hand to the inside. Oh, oh big mix Underwood. for here. Underwood now into turn one, making huge outside contact with the wall in turn four. He lost a lot of time. He's backed up to Benjamin Romano now. Here comes Chris Stange in that group. Yeah, as Romano started P2 on the field, really struggling, got a lot of right side damage on that truck as he fades to the field. Now McDonald's going to apply the pressure here through one and two. Now, can he get to the inside? Here he comes to the inside of Romano. He's going to be able to get to the inside. He's sideways on the turn two. Here he goes back to the inside in the turn three. We're going to go side by side again here. Here comes Romano on the outside. Here comes McDonald's on the inside. Oh, it's going to get real tight on the four. Oh, the oh, break is made. McDonald's around into the wall oh my goodness no caution just yet and there's the caution yes here comes Kreider down here to the inside carrier losing that outside line a little bit but Bellinger in the 21 truck he's putting his name up to the front of this field put himself relevant as he looks to the inside of Josh Kreider here down the back stretch down here in a turn three we're side by side again here comes Bellinger can he make the move off a of four it looks like he's gonna clear the five of Kreider here he's gonna move himself up to P6 Oh, his underwood is sideways. Oh, my goodness. Inside wall contact here. No wow. big deal is Danny White now on the outside of uh, Josh Kreider. Or, I'm sorry, Jordan Kreider. Oh, he makes big goal. Oh, reckon to the inside. The 79 goes, and the yellow flag is out in the air. Nathan Williams leading the field to green. The green flag is out in the air. The 29 gets a little loose with throttle down. So does double zero. But the 13 of Nathan Williams takes a commanding restart here into turn one. Almost contact here between the double zero and the 16 going into turn one. They keep it straight off of turn two. Now we see a little bit of a battle now for P2. That's Melvin Berenger and Chris Stage going into turn three now. Side by side for P2, Matthew Wood on the inside, Chris Stage on the outside. They're going to be drag racing down the back. Here comes the Iron Man to the inside of the Gambler. Down here into turn three. Matthew Wood sent it in there with all the momentum. He might be able to clear Stage here off of four. He does. Matthew Wood up to P2. He's the leader of this race off of turn four now. Coming down the front straightaway and across the line. Matthew Wood now coming to the rear bumper of Nathan Williams through turns one and two. Chris Stage doing everything he can to keep up with the 16 off a of turn two and down the back straight away nathan william blocks the 16 to the outside what a block by the 13 coming through turns three and four now the 16 to the outside here comes the 13 oh no contact very clean racing as matthew wood now takes the lead of this race jordan hand back here in p9 josh Kreider looking to take over that p10 position melvin berger oh off a of turn four contact they keep it straight unbelievable what they were able to do right there. Now going into turn one, Kreider's lost a lot of time to Berenger in front of him as Landon Burbridge now going side by side with the 21 of Bellinger off of turn two. Now we're going we back go. up to the front here. Chris Stange coming under attack by Brian Underwood off of turn four. The 77 looking to the inside. Oh, Chris Stange gets a little loose off of turn four. He holds it straight. Now into turn one, holding on to that P2 position very well as they go through one and two at the moment. Off of turn two now, the 77 is going to look to the inside of the 29. Look at this. He's going to make a move going into turn three. To the inside, side by side. Chris Stange to the outside. Brian Underwood to the inside. It's going to get 
get tied off at turn four, but they keep it straight. What a great show of driving between these two drivers as they go down into turn one, and Brian Underwood completes the pass. Lane to try to get a good apex off the corner. Look at the run he gets to the inside of the 13. Side by side now into turn one, and the 25 is going to dive into deep right there, and the 13 gets up into the marbles. He's going to relinquish that position to William Connolly and finds himself in P6 now, coming down the back straightaway. Double, double zero. Look, he's going to shoot to the inside. Now, side by side into turn three. Let's see what the double zero can do of it as he kind of has a preferred lane for a run down the front straightaway. But the 25 shuts the door. Oh, oh. my goodness. The zero, zero, and the 21 into the wall. Here comes Matthew Leiter now back to the inside of William Connolly. This battle is just insane off a of turn two. Oh, oh he's almost no. wrecked him. He almost turned him down the back straightaway. Here comes Tan. Now down into turn three, still side by side between Bellinger and Landon. Now off at turn four, it's going to get tight here. Oh, the 21 gets loose. Oh, they're wrecking down the front straightaway. Landon Burbridge in the wall. The 21 of Bellinger in the wall. He's got big damage on that 21 truck. We got a battle for the lead. Stage to the inside of one for the race lead here. Unbelievable stage has gotten the pass made here. He's to the lead as he's got the newer tires. Matthew Wood on the older tires. Showing up being difficult here for Matthew Wood. His stage is now to the lead. Matthew Wood isn't giving up though. He's going to drive it in extremely deep here to turn three. Try to carry the momentum off the corner. Oh, so tight. He does not make wall contact. Unbelievable. Here comes Jordan Hand. To the inside of Matthew Wood off a of turn two. Looks like he's going to try to make that pass. A classic drag race ensues down the back straightaway. And in a turn three, Jordan Hand diving a real deep down there, and he's gonna take that P2 position off a of turn four. Matthew Wood, oh, we got Rickett oh, in the Rick. back. Bellinger oh. once again, huge contact. Oh, Danny Wood, here comes Porter. Huge contact for these guys here on the front straightaway. Kreider. Josh Kreider is gonna give that position away to Dylan Carrier, and Dylan Carrier makes huge contact with the outside wall. Here comes Josh K Josh Kreider now in a turn one, side by side once again for the P6 position as he tries to hold on to it off the turn two now we're still side by side for p6 josh Kreider not going to be able to do anything of it and the 54 continues on in p6 oh here comes matthew wood he is finally making a pit stop here at the halfway point as chris dane still continues to lead this race with jordan hand right behind him jordan hand has had a couple of opportunities to try to get around chris stage but has not been able to hold on to it as they come off a of turn four now oh chris stage real loose there now now coming in. Oh, we got a yellow flag. Oh, no. The last thing Matthew Wood wanted to see. Oh, no. 15. And the 15 got involved there. Whoa. Hold on to it. <laughs> Look at him. Spin it back Whoa. around. The 13 holding very strong on the outside. That outside lane may be fully broke in now. As you can see, he's gaining ground on Jordan Hand now off of turn two. Jordan Hand's given a little bit of room there to work with, but it's not going to be needed. The 77 shooting back down to the inside of the 13 through three and four, but it looks like that 13 is on freaking rails on the outside through three and four and one and two. The 13 holds on to the P3 position. What a great run for him so far tonight. Off of turn two now. Oh, the drag race. Oh, the fight truck. Oh. Huge contact with the outside wall. Here comes Connolly down into turn three. Wow, big contact there by Kreider. Now he's still fighting back on the outside as Gaston's in front of Connolly. Oh, he merely makes contact again. He does make contact down the front stretch. Unbelievable. This fight truck and that wall are BFFs here tonight. Absolutely digging is Kreider as Connolly's going to make the move off a of turn two. Yeah, side by side battle here for P4. Here comes Carrier to the inside of Williams. He's going to send it in there. Williams going to hang it on his door. Here, still side by side here off a of turn four. Oh, this is going to get tight. Oh, my my goodness, Williams grabs some wall, carrier sideways, still side by side down here to turn one. These guys are digging. Now through turns one and two, the 13, oh, they're making contact off of turn two, the 13 to oh, the no. wall. The 54 has to lift, and the 13 drops like a rock all the way back here now to P10. Oh. 
Jordan hand to the inside, stage work in the outside, we're still side by side, tight off a of four, oh my goodness, they're still side by side, you got your top three in here, mixing it up, here comes Underwood back underneath Wood, he's gonna make that move, get himself in a soul three, three, but stage, hangs on the door, Jordan in, off a turn two, and makes the pass, hand up to the lead of the race now, but here comes Underwood, uh, Jordan hand, he is pulling a little bit of a gap here to Stange and Underwood. Underwood's still working this outside line. Unbelievable oh, what these flag. guys have been able to do. We do got to I think it's Michael McDonald. I was just about to mention how good he was running. And here he is involved in a wreck. I was going to Oh, the double zero trying to make a pass. Grabs outside wall. Grabs contact with the 15. The double zero. Matthew Leiter. Huge outside wall contact. Down the there. back straight away now. A drag race here. Going into turn three. The 29 diving it real deep. Oh, Josh Kreider through three and four. Off at of turn four now. The five truck's going to make a comeback on the outside. Almost making contact with the 29. Real loose there. But down into turn one. We're still side by side for the P5 position. The 29 holding on strong though. Off at of turn two. Oh, he gets turned. Oh, he turned Down the back straight away. The 29. Nines around, big damage. Where's oh. Matthew Wood? Where did he come from? He's still trying to fight to get his last back. He's gonna go three wide here down the back. Does this work? Oh my goodness, Matthew Wood! Oh the bravery there! The absolute stones on that man to make that move there in turn three. What a great run so far by the 13. He makes that pass and he finds himself in P4 plus 17 positions since the start of this race. Unbelievable what he has been able to do here tonight. As I oh. just give him the announcer's jinx, a huge contact with the outside. Wall. Here comes Landon Burbage to the inside. I shouldn't have said anything. Off a of turn two now. Landon Burbage going to take that position away. He's still in the top five. The drag race down the back straight away and down into turn three. Landon Burbage trying to hold on, or excuse me, Jordan Kreider trying to hold on to her all he can for that P3 position. But Landon Burbage off a of turn four. Oh, the 69. Huge contact with the outside wall. Landon Burbage up to P3. Drag racing it down the back straight away and down into turn three these guys have been duking it out here side by side for a minute now as the 18 looking like he might have a little bit of an advantage off of turn four with all oh, the 72 oh they're turned oh. the 19's in the wall the 72's in it the four's in it this changes everything Six. And into the restart zone they go the green flag's out in the air and the 77 gets a great jump oh the 69 he's sideways they're piling up in the back another big one happening back here chris stages around everybody piles in and he's going to keep that truck straight. Looks like the 72 is not going to get that good of a jump. Here comes Nathan Williams to the inside with new tires. He takes over the lead of this race. Two laps to go here at Dover. Look at him go with the lead off of turn two. Nathan Williams in the 13. Trying to make something happen here tonight. William Connolly up to P2. Here comes Jordan Hand with fresh tires too. Off of turn two. The 13 going to look at the white flag. One more lap to go here at Dover. Williams leads the field. Unbelievable restart. Hand all over the rear bumper of Connolly. That's for P2. As it looks like Williams off of turn two keeps this thing straight. He's just got to navigate. Turns three and four flawlessly one last time. And he will be a winner. Here he goes off the of turn four. Nathan Williams is going to take the Dover 250. Unbelievable. He's in the playoffs. Nathan, this is Thomas yeah, and Jay in the booth. How are you? I'm just going to try to keep this PG-13, baby. We're going to see what happens. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. Nathan, you find yourself in an unbelievable position there at the end with fresh tires, people in front of you who only didn't take any tires. One person took two tires. You took advantage of that on the restart, and you never looked back. Holy cow, what was that last restart like? Dude, it literally was the longest drive of my entire life. It literally <laughs> took so long. Heart was racing and pounding. I, dude, I got to say a big thanks to Conley because I don't know if you guys saw it on the restart. You probably couldn't from the angle. But right there on that restart, Conley rear ends me right as Brian goes. And then Brian slipped up, and I just had the perfect amount of momentum just to dive in that corner, man. It was just a great, great way the way turned, things turned out. Yeah, absolutely. White knuckled it around this track for the last couple of laps there. But, Nathan, let's talk a little bit about your early race. A little bit of mishaps uh, there. But uh, tell us a little bit about what you were experiencing behind the wheels that got you in the into the position that you're in now. First, uh, 
first problem was qualifying. I did a horrible qualifying lap. Started 21st on the back row. It's horrible. <laughs> horrible qualifying. And then just fighting through the field and stuff. A couple uh, bumps and bangs there, and I was fine. But um, I did get in it, get into it with Dylan Carrier for a little bit there, slamming the wall, broke my stuff. He do, he is racing with a I don't know if it's fractured or sprained wrist. He's got a he's got a whole like little cast thing on. He's racing, so I I tried my hardest not to get mad. But thankfully, I did have a uh, fast repair saved up for that. And then coming through the field, all the cautions that were happening at the end of that race, it just seemed to fall in your favor. But what was going through your head there with all the cautions happening, the tires that you had left, the, the just the, the, the will to stay out front or to get to the front and win this race? What was that like? Dude, it was stressful, man. I just felt like I had to go from the back to the front like three or four times. Yeah. It was just, I drew, like, everybody's talking about saving tires, and like my team, they're talking about saving their tires, and I'm like, I don't have the time. I, do, I can't. I can't save tires. I need to go. <laughs> so the whole entire race, my tires were just completely shredded, and I was just gambling the whole time. And luckily, I had one tire, one set of tires uh, left to be able to get that last uh, pit stop in. Yes, absolutely. And look, you had such a great showing in the chat tonight. You had your sister, TW's there as well, all cheering you on, even through the lows of the race that you had, all the way to the highs. So huge shout out to them too for coming out, supporting uh, uh, their boy Nathan. But man, what a phenomenal run you had tonight. You come out here, you grab a little bit of luck, you get yourself some fresh tires there at the end, and you capitalize with a little bit of help from a friend there and William Connolly. Congratulations on your win tonight. That's all I got for Nathan here, Jay. Jay, what do you got for him? Yes, Nathan. My first question, what time is it over there, man? Dude, it is 4.54 in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> oh man so, so early morning celebration here for nathan williams congratulations oh, on this yeah. win unbelievable race that you had tonight i mean wow this is gonna go down as one of the greatest races we ever broadcast here on the dega boys network we're looking back at this in years and be like how did he go for 21st to the win unbelievable <laughs> but who do you have to thank for this amazing performance hey man always thank brian and josh for putting on the show uh thank dylan for being the new uh, recruiter thanks to the incident report team um, thanks to the family for watching. It's my mom and sister. They're actually at like the St. Paddy's Day race in uh, Langley right now. They're just watching while they're there. Heck and, yeah. Uh, hey, man. Thanks to St. Paddy's, man. It's my day. It's my lucky day. <laughs> 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 hey, thanks to you guys. You guys put on a great show, man. Literally during the cautions, I'd sit and like watch your guys' broadcast of the cautions and stuff just to see what you guys were saying and stuff. Love it, man. <laughs> awesome. Well, thanks. Thank you for the kind words there. We truly appreciate it. Huge shout out to the family as well. Nathan Williams in the 13, getting it done here tonight at Dover, finding himself in a playoff position. Congratulations, Nathan. And Nathan, we hope to see you in the next one. Me too, guys. You guys have a good one. <laughs>